the 2-2. Two -two. Swing, tapper back to Guerrero, up the middle, Dungan steps on the second base bag for one, on the first, it's the game! And for the first time in 18 years, Indiana State has a chance to win a Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. I'm just really proud of the guys today. I mean, we, we get up, we play late, late, late last night. We get back to the hotel and and throw some stuff in their stomach, get them up early this morning, get out here for BP, and, and we're playing at 11 a.m. And obviously then you go back and you got the weather delay and, and uh, coming back out here tonight. And, you know, they played their tails off tonight. How important was just the start of the game to know that it was just 50 minutes in between games for the Redbirds to have to come back and to know they lost a little bit of a heartbreaker there at the end with that five run inning late for DBU. And you guys were able to pounce and really never seemed to give that energizing bunch in their dugout a lot of energy. Well, I, I think it's it's tough to bounce back from a loss like they had to Dallas Baptist. It's also tough for a guy like Tyler Ward to bounce back after the night he had last night. But I think, uh, what do you say? You know, the resi resiliency he had really motivated our club. And, you know, we got a few runs early, and it just seemed like he kept going out there and putting up zeros, and, and uh, the momentum just kept building and building and building. And I thought we were going to try and – give it away a little bit, but I was really proud of Jeremy Guerrero. He really maintained his composure. That zone got tight in the ninth, but uh, he did a heck of a job. You mentioned Tyler Ward. How big was it? It seemed early. Not to say his body demeanor was bad. That's not the way I want to say it, but maybe still searching for that confidence. Did you feel as that game was going, like we could up in the booth, that, that confidence just kept building and building as each out kept coming? Well, he, he really fought himself in that first inning out there. In fact, uh, we, we got the bullpen going right away. So and the fact that he found himself, so to say, and, and really uh, kind of synced up out there on the mound and threw those zeros, his gain was Austin Cross's uh, diminishing part tonight because we had him up first five innings of the game, and then we bring him in. That's my fault. We brought him in in the sixth, and he, he was just up and down the pin too much. And so, But elimination time, you just hope that a guy like Tyler goes out there and throws up those zeros. For a guy that only had seven hits all season heading into this tournament, Chris has had two really massive ones today. The solo shot in game one, which you said really spearheaded your group, and then that grand slam. Even though I know the Redbirds put up three crooked numbers late, you know, that grand slam ended up being yeah. pretty darn huge. Yeah, was that, and, and not only was, was it a huge grand slam, but I think if you look at the circumstance, Robbie had just popped up on the infield, and they had just gotten a couple of runs. So there was just a little bit of momentum on their side when he hit that. Uh, and man, I think it's still gone. I don't know <laughs> if it's landed yet, but he, he got all of that. One. Dallas, of course, got the best of us, winning three games. We talked after the weekend, and you said, look, I saw a team that the way they played that weekend probably would have won a regional. Well, right now, they haven't lost yet in this conference tournament. What has surprised you? I know you've been focused on your games and your matchups and what you got to do, but what has been impressive from what you've seen of DBU so far? Well, they're just a, a solid club. You know, they're solid at every position. They hit one through nine. Um, they, they're deep on the mound. They're well coached. Uh, do a lot of things really, really well. And that, and, and you got to beat them. I mean, they're they're not going to beat themselves. You know, they're a tough team to play against because you got to figure out a way to to, to beat them, and if you give them an opening, they're going to run through it. Knowing that you at least get to play tomorrow, some would say, man, who are you going to throw? What are you going to do? Well, bottom line is those are good problems to have, aren't they? Because that means you're still going and you're still playing. Yeah, I, I think uh, Enriquez is going to start, and then we'll go from there. <laughs>